All right, welcome back. So there was a lot of uh, people complaining about uh, the new map in uh, FS22 Platinum Edition, where they said farming is not really an option. So I think I'll start this series. It's a short series. I don't plan it to go on for long, but actually I don't have a plan anyway. Where we will uh, start a farm. And you can see we are at the start menu here. We will go into farm manager. Oh, sorry, we will choose farm manager medium difficulty. And we will, of course, select the new map Silver Run Forest. Rule, homemade rules. Yes, let's do them straight away. Mods completely allowed. Time control completely allowed. Uh, power tools we do have installed somewhere the power mod um, let's see well, doesn't matter it's here somewhere and the point is we are not allowed to use the power mod to lift uh, goods as usual just like in my other series i will always use the equipment to move products and anything around. I only have the power tools installed as a backup in case I flip over the vehicles. Of course you could reset it, but hey, <laughs> 2023, right? So all these mods are enabled. Well, a lot of these we are not going to need because I use them in a different series. There's a lot of, uh, you can see these old schools. Uh, I needed some low price vehicles for the survival time lapse. You can, I think it's first days it's coming out. Let's hit start. And basically, we need a home, a house. So, so of course, we have the sleep anywhere mod installed. Uh, but let's, uh, let's uh, give ourselves the rule that we must always go to a house to sleep, and it has to be our own house. Additionally, let's give ourselves the rule that, like I mentioned before, we, we are not able to use the power tools to lift anything. That means uh, tree stumps or anything at all, products we are producing. Other than that, we are pretty much good to go. We will use anything and everything the game offers, as is with the mods. And if you're wondering about which uh, DLCs I got installed, basically I got uh, all DLCs because I'm, let's say, thrilled about Farming Simulator. Uh, as for hardware, some of you that already know me, I'm using uh, on my right hand, keyboard and mouse center in front of me, of course. Right hand, I have the Farming Simulator 19 heavy equipment uh, joystick. I'm not using the wheels and pedals, just the joystick with the button panel. In my left hand, I have a Cobra V5 joystick. It's a HOTAS for flight simulator, but it's really useful when operating uh, machinery with dual joystick action. So I got two joysticks, one for each hand. And let's get in. Just use my own character as usual. And we start here with this magnificent view. So, we are not going to do wood uh, forestry of any kind. Of course we have to, because we want to turn the forest into arable land. We want to create farms, we want to produce corn, uh, stuff like that. So of course we start with 1.5 million. Let's just check the finance. Do we have depth? Loan zero, everything is zero, that's good. And we need to first thing find some good plots. Also, as you know, we have these vehicles available, which is uh, usable because that is what the game is offering. We have these fields down here. We're gonna ignore them here in the beginning because we want to get around to clearing out some uh, some areas. Uh, it's hard to see on this map, uh, but I've been around this map before, and one of the areas I really like is. Uh, right next to this gas station. We have this uh, meadow over here, which means we can start uh, growing here. Of course, the challenge is really, uh, we are growing uphill, so there will be a challenge uh, farming here. So I could easily see a cornfield or something 
instead of this meadow. There are still a lot of trees that needs to be cleared. It's a nice spot. It's also a place where if we clear out the corner down here, we could potentially build our home here. We have some stones we need to have removed. So basically it offers everything farming simulator has to dust. The only downside doing this is the train does not have any ways of exporting uh, corn or anything unless we put it on pellets or something like that but in bulk we cannot export it so we need some sort of production of course we got all the production down here in the city but then we have the transport issues let's take a look at the fields again this area is also nice we know that from my forestry series where we are running a paper mill uh, but very fast it gets hilly we also have to consider expansion, right? So if we start with maybe field 18 or 19 up here, uh, where do we want to expand to? It has to be within driving range from our farm. Uh, so field 17 or area 17, get rid of all these trees. Just going to check the steepness because it will be a problem for the tractors uh, to pull equipment up and down here and you can see it's actually quite steep and then you might say ah but you can just use the terrain tools yes but they are very very expensive so so most of this we won't even actually be able to turn into a field but this over here on the other hand looks nice and even what is that that's 38 this could also be a great place for the farm, right? We're close to fuel, close to the manufacturing area. Only thing we're not close to is the export, which is down here and up here. We could, of course, rent the train, drive it down here and load it up. Uh, as they offered already uh, metal, right? We should utilize this somehow. Unfortunately, that's uh, quite expensive, and these vehicles is yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I don't even uh, want to start them really. Unfortunately, there's nowhere to get rid of the iron, so we have to build the the plant ourselves. The forklift, on the other hand, extremely nice to have, and we do have the delivery mod installed, so we can get items delivered to our site. Anywhere else we can go? Yeah, let's go over here. Just, what I'm really looking for is, uh, let's say, the height map of the area. So it looks uh, okay, but actually you can see this is a hill up here, up here as well. What are we looking at? That's field two, very last field, very expensive. And this is all downhill. Just gonna check how far down. It goes down to here. Sure, we have all these small roads, but uh, if we need to grow corn here, and I buy this, I'll remove the roads. Also an expensive field. So 38 or 19 seems like the most beneficial areas uh, just now. This area is very nice. Uh, good plots but it's far away from everything. You can see it's, there, there are some hillness, but it's, it's okay, it's okay. We will be able to get a medium tractor to pull machinery up this hill. In this area, very hilly, as we know. This is the area. We have the river in the middle. Here we can grow something, but up here, too steep. Maybe large tractors will be able to pull some small equipment up and down here. Or you can do it sideways, which also makes sense. Um, yeah, yeah. It's a big area, right? Very big. Same with this one. I say we start with the uh, field 38. 
or 19. So let's uh, go over here again. So 19 is that one, 38 is over there. Let's see, we, we will have a lot of lumber to get rid of in the beginning. Easy place to get rid of lumber is sawmills up here, container warehouse, sawmill in the water, or down here. We could also just export it all, but then we need to load it on a train, which could be something as well. But I think this corner, so if we remove all the trees here, we could place a farm, livable area here. Let's uh, turn on the speed. Let's uh, get to field 19. Bye. All right. Let's start buying. First thing we want is a chainsaw. I believe it's under miscellaneous. Oh, sorry. Uh, miscellaneous, right? No. Chainsaws. <coughs> this one I really hate because I got one in real life. I do a lot of chainsawing. And I'm just so tired of this one. So let's just get a steel. Oh, I already own it. There we go. We also need to look into some equipment. Uh, we need to not only uh, move. Well, <laughs> we got a tractor, we got a trailer. Let's, uh, before we buy anything, let's uh, set up a delivery. Uh, so we don't have to run back to the city every time. So the delivery mod allows me to have deliveries delivered wherever I want. However, there is a price. You will see when I buy vehicles, there is a delivery cost added. So we want to have it delivered here. <coughs> so let's go into discounts. We got this tractor, John Deere 4755. Very nice tractor. Initially, we'd not, we could, no, yes, yes. Let's uh, add a GPS to it. We might start doing field work immediately as well. And this trailer. The crane? Of course we need the crane, we need somehow to load it, because remember the rule, we are not using, uh, there you go, top right, delivery cost 2.5% on each item delivered. So let's get started uh, chainsawing. I'm considering leasing a forestry machine to, to get going. So you can see it's lifting. I just need to unplug and replug. There we go. Window sound. That's one of the joysticks. Uh, sometimes when I have restarted my computer, it loses its, uh, let's say, zeroing point. So I would like to clear out this area first. We have a couple of options for forestry machines to quickly clear out an area. So, of course, we have the standard forestry machines. We have the John Deere, which is one of my favorites. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, let's uh, let's uh, lease the John Deere for now. Delivery cost is added on top every time, right? So I'll show you why I really enjoy using this for some fast work. So see the tree in front, press 4 on the joystick, Just oh this is actually too thick already, yes. <laughs> that needs to be handled with the chainsaw, let's do it with this one instead. There we go and we grab it and we can actually move it around and place it somewhere where we find it useful. I'll place it right here. In addition to uh, moving trees around, you just felt can also remove these. Uh, what's that called? Is that dark wood? It's like an unusable uh, tree type. Uh, it's great for decoration. It's not really useful for anything we're doing. Oh. 
Come on. Let's try again. Whoa. That was heavy. So one of the reasons I like to use uh, this one is because I can collect uh, all the trees I'm cutting in one area, then run over and debranch with the chainsaw, and maybe adjust the length and load it up to uh, whatever vehicle I'm using for transport. Yes, you are absolutely right if you're already screaming. This one can carry uh, two logs at any time. However, uh, there is one big problem or downside to using this. It's not uh, really heavy enough to handle the uh, last trees. So it will start to jump around, flip, uh, become very hard to control basically. But for sure, yes, it makes very fast work of uh, clearing out an area like this. There we go. The most hated tree in the game is right there. Because the branch has physics. You can see how it's... Uh, oh, oh, oh. Yes. So we're just gonna put that somewhere else because we don't like it. <laughs> Go. I think the, the pine here to the left might be too big. We'll see in a second. Yes, sometimes it helps if we move up. No, it's just too big. That's fine. We'll take it with the chainsaw and manually uh, move it. Same with this one, right? Yes, too big. That's okay. Get the chainsaw out. Deep rents. You also need to find a good length for the trailer. So let's get the trailer next to the lumber. Yeah, it's the first time I'm using this trailer, so I'm actually uh, just figuring out how it's working. Let's try the crane. Oh, 
Well, it's working like I expect, but it's just very slow. That's okay. So we can see we got this length to work with. So let's uh, start cutting the wood to length so we can get our farm going. Didn't we cut the top one? No, we did now. Just trying to get a good view so we can see what we're doing. Oh, now I know why I'm not using this. So you can see how it's uh, floating inside the claw. So, so for some reason, uh, Giants decided to add this uh, auto grab. Uh, I complained about it before in a other series where I was working with uh, maybe the forklift or something like that. And this auto grab system is uh, really not helping. I know the intention was to to make it easier, but it's just causing so much more problems um, because you're you're not really able to control what you're doing anymore. It's like giants decided what we want to control. Come on. Ah. Then uh Yes. See. Maybe it can uh, handle two. Let's see. It's a bit far. Two is too much. So, so, so I'm pushing down now, but because of the auto assist or whatever we want to call it, it's uh, it, it's kind of doing its own thing. It's trying to uh, connect me to the... So you can see the two locks, right? I want to push down between. And I'm pushing down very hard. But for some reason it's floating over to, to that side. And that's not what we want. Trying to get it to fit in there. Finally. <clears throat> okay, so this trailer is nice and all, but it's definitely not something we're gonna use for, let's say, a prolonged time. Uh, there's simply too much work just getting it uh, running. 
So let's just load these up and then we'll see if we can replace them. I think there was a small one here, right? Yes. So another thing I noticed in uh, since the Plasma Edition, many times you've been able to load true items. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Let's see distance. This is the length. Yes, let's cut it right here. So we see the chainsaw cut, but there is no real cut. Now there is. Good. What about up here? Let's make it a bit shorter, just in case. The other one. Oh, it disappeared. Bad viewing angle. Here we go. Hard to see how fine we are. There we go. Good. Oh, it's doing it again. I'm grabbing two, but it's not strong enough to lift. Oh, it is, maybe. Nope, it's not. <laughs> oh, this crane is definitely not a good crane. It's really a shame because it's such a nice design. But it's ruined by this uh, system that's supposed to help me uh, control the locks. You see, it's not that good. <clears throat> Unfortunately, a lot of the modded uh, items are oh, better. original content by uh, giants of course that should be a uh, big cadeau to giants that they have these great models in the community come on
All right. <clears throat> Let's just go up to uh, the sawmill and sell this before we start looking into a different loading system. I like the idea. Really do. It's just not really ideal for for what we're doing. So basically what we're looking for is just some uh, log transport. There is a lot of options, but actually some of my favorite are these trucks like this one. It's expensive, but I think it's uh, well worth it. And then we can get the tractor started on uh, some field work instead, because that's our primary goal in this series, is actually to do <coughs> normal farming instead of uh, forestry. Of course, <laughs> the first time uh, we do, let's see if we can get it up. That's how you do it. I think we can actually... Uh... No, we can't. <laughs> but once you use the crane to, to flip it back. So this is why we have power tools. There we go. Anyway, let's see if uh, we need to uh, remove the crane to get this out. I don't think we need to purchase the sawmill to be before we can actually deliver wood. I think we can just drop it off. But we need to uh, trigger it manually. <coughs> yes, there we go. Uh, it's not even worth it. 7500 is nothing. So I think we will definitely be looking into uh, to getting that crane. Oh, sorry, truck. Uh, it's just easier. And at the same time, I will also uh, get a plow. <coughs> I have this uh, subsoil I enjoy using. Also a mod, but it's six meter wide and it seems to go well with medium and large tractors. <coughs> and we need to really turn a lot of that soil uh, before we can start planting anything. We also need to consider what type of crops we want to grow. So if you see bottom right, you can see there's this axle. So if I hit Control T, there's a red cross, or oh, sorry, red marking about, about, above it. <coughs> Which prevents me from uh, alt or tapping to it doesn't work. I'm still tapping. <laughs> it used to work. Might need an update for that. Forestry machines. So where are the trucks? So we need one with a crane. And I think this is the one I used in uh, the video once. We can also put a trailer on it. And it's important it looks good. Of course. So I think Nokia and tires with uh, riding on them. Bit rough tires, yes. Shield, yes. Roof bar, of course. Design. Suite. Oh no, no. We want LED bull bar, of course. God, it is so strange they ask these questions. Claw must be yellow, because this is something I need to keep an eye on while craning. Cabin. Uh, navy. Cabin below. Black. Uh, let's make it uh, maybe a uh, dark green. 
That's ugly. Navy. Crane color, red. That's fine. And these needs to be red. Rim color. Who paints their rims? Seriously. Longwood one. Yes, let's keep that. Uh, bye. There we go. This will uh, simplify the job by a lot. Oh, that's right. We need something to handle the tree stops as well. So in equipment plows uh, this one lizard six meter by this forestry uh, we need one of these mulches Can't, there was i think one i downloaded was exceptional because you were able to uh, oh, this is for Lower the mulcher without it uh, actually uh, destroying the ground. Oh. Might be gone. Was it one of these? Cultivator function, yes, no. This is it, yeah. Requires 300 horsepower, requires 200. How much does our tractor actually have? 190. So that means the 200 horsepower. Might have to get a bigger tractor as well. Let's dump this trailer here for now. Collect our tools. I'm not even sure it will run uh, if it's lacking horsepower. Uh, previously, we had no issues running uh, too big machinery with a uh, too low horsepower tractor. But in some of the recent updates, I have seen the tractor simply refuses to run it. Normally, I would expect it to run it, but maybe uh, at a reduced speed. Let's uh, give it a go immediately. Hit G find a tree stump. I think there's one in here. There we go. Turn it on. Oh no, it's working fine. All that talk about horsepower. So you can see it's definitely just driving slower, it's running now. So I want to get rid of all these tree stumps. Let's, uh, oh, that, this one, let's open it up for business. So the other ones, if I put them down here, you would see they would turn all the ground into uh, basically almost like plowed dirt, but not really, more like uh, cultivated. Which of course is nice in some ways. So let's cut down this one so it falls this way. Tunnel it. We don't want to hit the truck. Same with this one. And this one. Yeah, so basically, I guess the first couple of episodes of this will mostly be forestry even though the intention is not to do forestry on this map but we have to start somewhere when we are trying to remove all the biodiversity in an area and a good place to start is actually clearing out the, the forest 
So this one is also too big. You can see Panderosa Pine. They're almost always too big for for the equipment. To see what's going on here. any box left over yes so now we will see if I'm bullshitting you uh, in regards to to loading up so I guess we can make them just a tad longer now we got the truck maybe something like this I do actually have the measuring tool installed I just forgot how to use it, so yeah. Let's put the truck in between here so we can start loading up these. One thing I really enjoy with the truck is it has a very, very long reach with this crane. Yeah, so I'm pushing the locks a bit uh, with the nose just to get it in. Let's see how it works. Hopefully it handles better. <laughs> Only one way to find out, right? Feels better. Oh, feels stronger. Quite clear. I need to watch the length of the logs. So you can see this is a problem. Ah, come on. So it's not ideal to. <laughs> have a lock sticking out on the back like that on the crane, but we'll go with it for now. Can we get it? Let's see if we can just reach and pull it back. Yes, very nice. Let go. Get a better grip. It's also too long. By a lot. We need to be careful of about the length. See my guy's face, he's, <laughs> he's covered in locks now. I ah, don't worry, we'll fix it, we'll get out and then just uh, chainsaw the ends off before we leave.
still very heavy, as you can see, 200 kilos. Okay, let me just stay there. But at least now it fits. I'm not sure what's going on here. Bad angle. We get it anyway. Oh. There we go. That's even locks in. Let's get that in there. So this area we might actually spend some money on leveling up because we want our farm area here. If we are going to do some animals we will do them on the hill behind up here. So let's make sure, is it T? Is it shift T? <clears throat> let's check controls really quick. I'm pretty sure I got a mod for measuring. Uh, so all the mods at the bottom, let's see, uh, Typhon uh, pumps, precision power tools. Oh. I guess it doesn't say in here. I noticed some mods don't have a... Uh, Button reset. So let's see. So if we are like, it's from there to there. So that's from there to there. Maybe. Yes. And from there to there. Ish. And then there. Ah. Yes. Seems seems good. This one is a big one, so three, 
something like that. Something like that. Like that. Good. Let's get that loaded up. So let's see if I guessed correctly. <laughs> This one, yes. Pull it over, pull it in. Just want to get it close before we get a good grab. Not bad. Good length. And this one is way too short, as we can see already. Come on. I think those are too far to reach, and the small one might actually be carryable. Yes, of course it is. But the 
this one, yes. Oh, that's cheating, right? They're stuck together. Well, get that one as well. Be really hard to judge sometimes for this from uh, these angles. There we go. Wires on, pack the crane. So now you all see a good reason to have a trailer to fill that up immediately while we're already doing this. But you already see the benefit of the truck over the tractor trailer combo. Let's just get rid of this trailer immediately. show you the plow, the idea at least. So then we simply find a place to start and off we go. That's also why it's important to get rid of uh, the tree stumps before we start. <coughs> the good thing about this is uh, we only have to do it once really. Uh, the AI is not able to help us or the, the, the help us uh, until we have done it at least once. But once we have done this we can actually get the AI yeah, help us to, to complete all this for us. Basically, that's how we're going to turn this forest into uh, farmland. The funny thing is, uh, if you do this in real life, this uh, land will usually have a very high value in terms of nutrition. But here, <laughs> this tractor is not big enough for this. <laughs> but here in Farming Simulator, it's absolutely terrible. It needs everything you can imagine. Lime, uh, fertilizer, anything. And the reason we're clearing the corner again is just so we can build a farm area here. I always just enjoy uh, getting rid of all these bushes and everything. before we paint over the entire thing, because we will paint over everything with the texture afterwards. Come on, stop being a bitch.
There we go. Now we can actually see through to the farmland as well. Still need to cut down that one. I'll just do that with the chainsaw. There we go. <coughs> and uh, that's one hour. One hour goes really fast when you're having fun. Hopefully next episode we'll have enough area cleared so we can start building a farmhouse so we can sleep. Because remember, one of the rules was no sleeping without a farmhouse. Thanks for watching guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know if you have any thoughts about this. And I'll uh, see you next time. Let's uh, save this bad boy. Alright, bye bye.